Well, what's going on guys? Welcome to Little's Pressure Washing. Barry, I'm your host. I'm glad you landed on my channel today. If you're not subscribed, which you should be subscribed. I don't know why you're not subscribed, but if you're not, please subscribe. Hit the notification bell to all so you never miss a video when we drop it or go live. Today, after a almost- Continue straight to stay on Northwood almost Avenue. Almost after a year, wait. We finally got our check in the mail for the property damage part of the claim, right? Brand new trailer was wiped out. Court date after court date, the guy got found guilty. Insurance progressive didn't want to pay. We had to get a lawyer to write them to, to, to say, yo, you need to pay for what your client did. Finally, finally, after like, they had to get an outside adjuster to deal with the pressure washing, come in, we finally got a check. And they left off a whole part of the 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 rack the the piece of equipment but at this point i'm like look man if it took them a year to get this and i say yo we reject it they would probably took another year so i said you know what accept it we'll accept the uh the offer for the repayment of the property just that portion only it wiped our trailer out we got to get another trailer replaced which brings me to a very important point make sure you have the proper insurance guys make sure you have inbound marine Make sure your property equipment is covered. Not just the trailer itself, not just the truck, but every piece of equipment. We have an itemized. After this wreck, by golly, we got we swept we swapped insurance companies. We got a good insurance company now. And let me tell you, they came out and took an inventory of all our equipment and it's insured, man. And that's that's what it's about, man. Had I known that when I got in the wreck, my insurance would have paid and then they would have reimbursed them. But my insurance didn't let me know this and i thought it was covered it wasn't covered very furious so they left me holding the bag and the other couple held the bag god takes care of his children guys always so finally it worked out and now we're gonna get this trailer replaced but i swapped the insurance companies i have full coverage on every item i have every hose every hose reel Shout out to the winner of the chemicals the bull shark blaster this is going to t-town in tuscaloosa alabama the winner of the bull shark blaster for little's pressure washing no strings attached stay tuned for more giveaways that's what we do we give away things let's go all right guys one of our tornado bar uh broke on the surface cleaner so we're going to be replacing it we always uh, encourage you to buy extras if you buy the tornado bar for your whisper washer whatever pressure washer you're using buy extra uh, bars i'll show you right here what happened right here so if you look this bar broke it bent right here as you can see, I gotta go get a tool and twist that back out, but it broke. And since I have extra bars, I'm able to replace that. So I take this off and I unscrew this, unthread it, and I'm gonna put a new bar. I'll show you what I got. And we're gonna go to Harbor Freight and get some tools to be able to back that out without causing any damage real quick. So let me show you this real quick. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace this one. This is the one that broke right here. See this piece? We took the other end off. This is the replacement bar we have. We've got, I think we got two of these. And we're gonna put this piece right here on the end. See right here? So when you buy a tornado bar from High Low Solutions, Mike Arnon down there, I always get an extra couple of these. It's, it's very affordable and they'll come in handy like this right here. We were cleaning underneath the table in a dark area out of a patio at a restaurant and it hit, a, hit the bottom of the table and boom it knocked it off that was from the vice of me on taking it off right here so it is pretty tough you got to use the right tools to get that backed out and uh yeah that's what we're going to do guys we're going to go get some tools let's go right, guys we're at my favorite place to go harbor freight that's right we're going to go get some tools to get this tornado bar twisted back out i think you there's a tool set you tap in there and you can spin it back outwards and uh pull the, the threaded pipe out so we're gonna be looking for that right now, guys. There's a lot of good stuff on sale at Harbor Freight, man. Let's go. But hey, look, people use this for surface cleaner, so you can hook that up in the back and put surface cleaner on it. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some gloves while we're here, too. Uh, I think this may be it. No, that's a drill bit. Cap set, let me see. Let's see what we can find. Broke and the threads inside of another one, and I gotta pull that piece out without ripping my threads, so I gotta, pull. you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> hey, at least you're honest, right? A lot of people say, let's go look at the aisle together. We both can look and don't know what's going on. Hey, it's okay. Don't worry about it. If I, if I don't find nothing, I'll let you know. Okay. Merry Christmas. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. All right. 
man, I need a buggy. Your boy needs so many more of these gloves. And I decided we're gonna go with the with the black ones. The black ones are a lot better than the blue ones. Big fat tin four. We're gonna get a couple of these while we're here. Man, I hate coming in here. Come in here and spend so much money. Let me go get a buggy. Let me get a buggy. Hey, you know, what's them things called, man? Will you will you get a pipe stuck in? Like it broke off and you got to tap in there and pull the threads out. You know what I'm talking about? So my pipe broke, it screwed in. Yeah, and no, it's it's little out. things, They're like a little kit. You can tap them in there and pull ease it out. out. Yes, yes. Ease. It's ease out, right? It's a, okay, yeah, good. You're the man, dude. It's an ease out. That's what we're looking for, man. That's what we're looking for. Ease out, ease out, ease out. I got a lot of these stuff on sale, man. Look right here. Where's the engines at? Engines, because they're such a good deal. Um, well, they were over here. Did they move them? I don't know. There they are. They're over here. Here they are. So we're running on one of our, we're running the 212. This was 99 bucks for Black Friday. We're running this on our P40. Um, it's perfect for an AR45 or P40. Pump. You can put that in there and just hook it onto the back there with a, a kit, of course. Call it a day. Look at this 212 cc for the go-karts. All right, guys, let's try to find them ease outs. This buggy look, it's got the wobble going on. It's been swerving. Shopping under the influence, buggy. A DUI test, you. Look at this right here, Icon, 24 karat gold plated. These are some nice wrenches right here, man. 92, 38 drive, 59 bucks right here. But look what your boy got. I went ahead and got me, so always get me some. You can never have enough of these, especially when you're building trailers and working on trailers. Always keep some of this on your trailer. Guys, we found it. We found it. Yes. So right here, pipe nipple extractor. Three eighths is what we're looking for right there. Only nine bucks. That's right. Put it in the bag. There you go. Let's see if there's anything um, that we would need to. No. Here I go looking for stuff we don't need. But uh, it is what it is, man. Look at this bad boy right here. It's a big bad man with Gemma. Here I go. I don't need that right now. One of the Swedish pipe wrench. What is this? I don't know. Let me grab this. You never know when I need a Swedish pipe wrench. Swedish pattern pipe wrench. Say that five times. Swedish pattern pipe wrench. This is where we get all our blue tape, guys. We're going to go and grab one of these for taping off around the gas pumps and around the house washes so nothing chemicals get in places we don't want it to go what we're going to get this is going to be something we don't need but it's only four bucks alternator and battery tester we're going to get that and we're going to throw that in the cart there not that we need it but we're going to grab it and we also going to grab one of these battery terminal cleaners and we're going to get out of here before we could buy stuff we don't need however i do need an air compressor for the shop but that's going to be i think beginning this year we're going to see if we can find one we want a bigger one so we can be able to rock and roll and use some air tools over there, painting and all that other good stuff. So probably gonna get one of these bigger ones probably come January. The stand up one's $239, $399, $289. We want the stand up ones right there. Go ahead and grab some more ties. We need this size and we need some bigger size. Uh, can't stress enough, get you one of these for your truck. So if you're running two machines or two tanks, you can actually have a water hose so you can rinse while the other one's filling the tank when you're on the job. Definitely want to get those. Matter. We're going to go ahead and do it right now. We're going to do it right now. We're going to do it right now. We're going to grab another one of these for the trucks. And we're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. I'm going to show you another trailer you ain't seen that got these. The one we have for sale has the inside lights that go in and out wired in the frame. So that's really cool. Really, really, really cool. Really cool. All right, guys, I think we're going to get out of here. We spent enough money on random stuff. We came here for one item and spent 100 bucks. How much is the Gator here? $5.99. That's not bad. We'll get a look, a 10 pack right here. Actually, we're going to go with the black. Get one of these. Yep. And we'll go with another get neck Gator. Keep that on the truck. This is the one we're going to get right here. This is what we're going to get when we come back to get the air compressor and the engine. I'll cherry pick her up thing. So that's what we're gonna do, man. So much deals coming here and spend so much money. So $119 later, I get out of here with more than I needed. <laughs> it's right here, see? We're gonna tap that and pull that out. That's three eighths. Pull that thread out without messing the thread up. Pull that broken pipe out without messing the thread up. Uh, so we're gonna be using this pipe nipple extractor to pull that out. We're gonna be using the three eighths. It's right there, yep. Sure enough, I'm so glad I bought those two boxes of gloves because my gloves are in the shop 
and I ran out of my gloves that I had in my truck uh, last night. So, hey, baby, say hi to the camera. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We love you. So we're going to bust these out, and I'm going to show you how to do this right here in this parking lot. This way, if it don't work, I'm going to go back in and get some more tools. So we're out of the way. We, we relocated out of the way, way back in the back of the parking lot, so we can get this going. You're going to tap this in there. Five-eighths wrench fits perfectly. Tell you, it's not gonna be easy. You gotta put some muscle behind it. It's not gonna come out easy. Once you get it started, you'll be able to twist it right on out. Those first couple turns are gonna be really tough. But you're able to twist it on out. Let's look at it in real time and see. Yep, so we're able to replace that now. That's good. Now out with the old and in with the new. Let's go. By the way, this is what the inside looks like. See there? There we go. There's what it looks like. Make sure you have a vise on your truck. Second set of hands. But we've got that screwed in. We're gonna Teflon tape this side like we just did. Make sure you use the pick and get all of the loose Teflon tape out. We're gonna start twisting it. Slowly, you want to make sure your threads are lined up. Start spinning it. Guys, we got to put it back together. We make sure the tips are facing a little bit at an angle so that it makes it rotate. You want to check all of them, make sure they're not clogged up. And there you go, guys. We're ready to roll. Let's go. Guys, it is later on in the evening. We have made it to across the border. We're in Tennessee right now. We're going to be hitting some gas stations that need our attention. Uh, we got our surface cleaner fixed. I'll drop a quick short of that video telling you how to, if you get a tornado bar, how to fix that. So it's really helpful. Um, I run into problems. I try to just troubleshoot them and pass along the information to help others. You know, we shouldn't be gatekeepers of information. We should help others as much as possible. That's what I firmly believe. But let's get into this video, guys. It's cold. I got my low handles on. I got two, two shirts. I got a jacket and a truck if I need it. And uh, let's look at what we're doing right here. Look, one, two, three, boom. Look at that. That is a nasty, nasty, nasty diesel spill right there. So we're gonna hit this side. Let's back it up. Back it up, 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 back it up. We're gonna hit this. Back it up some more, come on, come on, come on, come on. This isn't as bad, but we're not gonna not do it because we're here. We're gonna hit it. We're gonna put some uh, one five gallon bucket. I'm starting my drop side down here. We're gonna get it looking good, guys. Just take a mental note. Take a mental note of this right here. It's not gonna be that for long. Let's go. So we got here right at 10 o'clock as they're leaving. They're leaving out right there. They're about to leave. That's the last two workers. So this is ideal for working. Let me wait the camera real quick. Hold on, hold on. Much better, much better. Okay, this is ideal for, speaking of camera guys, the iPhone 15 Max Pro is amazing. Look at right here. I got it in my truck. I'm listening to an AirPods, iPhone Max 13. Um, the camera's amazing on both of them. So anyway, sidetrack squirrel. <laughs> Back to here. So this is a great time to clean when they're leaving. So we're going to put one five-gallon bucket of sodium hydroxide on this. Two and a half pounds of sodium hydroxide, a little bit of dawn, and all cold water. We won't need no hot water, but we got it if we need it. Let's go. All right, guys. See that sodium hydroxide? Cutting through it, look. Cutting right through it. Cutting right through it, but beautiful. Let's look at what we got done, guys. Got it looking amazing. Listen, those stains, those stains aren't gonna come up. They're not gonna come up there in the concrete because when they happened, nobody put um, any uh, oil absorber down. So when you're doing jobs, I always explain that to the customer. I mean, the only way to get that off is you're gonna take layers off, you don't wanna do that. But I want to show you that because you may come across that at times. Now look, this is what the new diesel was, right? Boom, all of it. See, this was black. Remember, this was black. This is what it looks like when you get it up, right? If you let it stay there for a year, however long, it's going to make stains where you can't get up. If you put an oil absorber on it or you get to it right away, it's going to look like this. Hope you guys uh, remember that. That's a little tip for you there, guys. So 
And to the people that don't know, to uh, you know, the untrained eye, or to the person that don't know about concrete, how it's got holes in its pores, and uh, degreaser, I mean, fuel and grease because it expands. I always explain it like ketchup on a shirt. You get your ketchup on your shirt, you're gonna wash it, get the stain out, but it's gonna be a white pink spot, I mean, a light pink spot there. So um, I always set the scope and explain that in the beginning, so there's no issues. They're on the same page. Um, but yeah, let's go. All right, guys, let's look at this nasty dumpster. We're gonna be cleaning this dumpster up. Not too bad, at least they keep the garbage off the ground. A lot of times people just throw garbage on the ground. It's very nasty, I don't know how they do it. So yeah, we're gonna get around this grease, pick a couple pieces of trash up here. And uh, yeah, not that bad, not that bad. Let's get to rocking and rolling. We got it looking good, look at that, look at that. <laughs> we do let's go we'll just do inside we always cut a, a few feet out in front too that's what we don't got to do that that's not considered a dumpster pad but we always go above and beyond and always bring out about maybe three to four feet so it looks nice and clean right there did not even realize that it's 32 degrees right now i got a shirt on i got two shirts i knew it was cold and then i had some some uh long johns underneath it but uh i didn't realize it was 32 man so I don't mind working in this weather, but I make sure since it's 32 that my pump's not freezing on the inside. And uh, I didn't see any water freezing on my trailers. So I was like, I didn't, oh, I see it here. Let me show you. Look right here. See it right here? Yep, yep, yep. Let's see. No, not too bad right here. But yeah, man, I did not realize that. Oh my gosh. Grinded, man. Here it is, midnight. Um, let me see what time it is real quick. Uh, yep, exactly midnight. Here, look. It's midnight up and down. Actually, five after, about four after. And we out here grinding, man. Look. Let's go, man. Let's go. People over profits. Let's go, man. Let's go. Man, don't work. You don't eat. Let's go. Good thing I bought me some new uh, clothes. I just had to pop the tags on this jacket. And I got me multiple pairs of pants. I even got some insulated pants here. So I bought me four pairs of pants yesterday and some jackets and uh, some stuff to get ready for these cold months. And uh, yeah, that's what it's about, man. Grind, 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 guys. We got shows got to go on. Got to take care of your families. God first. Family suck it. Let's go. It's officially 30 degrees, guys. We're at uh, a gas station. We're about to hit this canopy here. And uh, yeah, man, that's what we do. It's what we do, guys. It's early in the morning. We've been going nonstop all day and night. But that's what we do, man. The holidays are coming. You can take off and hang out with the family, prioritize God first, family suck it. And uh, then, you know, take, take downtime. It's always important to balance. So even though we work hard, we're going to take off some time for the family. It's very important to do that, guys. Keep a balance. But uh, I'm going to get it. Uh, the hoses rolled out. We're going to get to it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hit that like button, guys. Pop. Let's go. We're knocking all these spider webs and dust off. We're out here getting this canopy done, guys. Got it looking good. We're hitting it with a downstream action. Come back and rinse it, knocking all the spider webs down. Got it looking good. Got it looking good. Got all that looking good, guys. Got it looking good. We're out here grinding, guys. It's cold. We got the canopy looking good. We got all the bonnets looking good. Look at the pump numbers, man. Look how good they look. Look how good they look, guys. All the spider webs, all the dust stuck down, the dirt, the soot. Look, pump numbers looking all good, guys. That's what we do, man. What's up, guys? It's almost four in the morning. We're gonna head to the house. I wanna say thank you to all the new subscribers. Thank you to everybody that's been dropping comments and hitting the like. Um, you guys really been killing that like button. I appreciate it. Just tap it on the way out. It really helps the algorithm, guys. I truly appreciate it. You guys have a blessed night. I'm, I'm going to go home. It's uh, hopefully going to be up by 5.30 in the morning. I'm going to get back up at 9 and uh, uh, watch my watch my girls today. My wife's got to go open the plant store. Her employee's not working today. Today's her day off. So i uh, got to help out there. So never stops, guys. The grind don't stop, man. So uh, people over profits. God bless each and one of you guys. We'll see you. Let's go.